about uh, the uh, incentives for the work, and uh, I was just wondering, uh, do you feel like uh, when the blockchain reward goes down to zero, uh, do you think that people will still mine at the same level, and will the fees be the same as the Visa transaction, uh, and then we don't have these? Um, so the question was, based on the incentives that exist in the network, what happens when the reward uh, for seniorage, for generation of new coins, drops to zero, and the only reward is fees. Will miners keep mining, and um, will the network fees be reasonable? First of all, just to give you some perspective, this happens gradually between now and 2141. By that time, people on Mars will have to decide if they want to go into mining with their solar panels. Um, so. Who knows? I, like, I hesitate to make predictions for Bitcoin three months out. You're asking me to make some 136 years out, so I'll try. Um, the important thing to realize is this happens very, very gradually. And it happens in an environment where the reliance on seniorage drops, while presumably the number of transactions and activity rises, which means the transaction fees rise. And what it should do, if you look at it in a graph, is it should do kind of a curved X, right? So fees go up, reward goes down, and fees go up not because fees are getting more expensive, but because you have more and more transactions paying more or less the same fee or less. So if you imagine a block today which has 12 and a half bitcoins in it, and let's say a tenth of a bitcoin in fees, so it's a 120 to one ratio in favor of the seniorage fees. Now let's construct a block in 2141. What's the minimum reward? One Satoshi. Right? Okay. Now let's say this block has 10,000 transactions. Just pulled a number out of my head. Probably have more, but let's say 10,000 transactions. And what's the minimum fee they can pay? One Satoshi. Right? So if you just had the minimum issuance and the minimum fees, you'd have 10,000 satoshis in fees and one satoshi in seniorage. So now the ratio of seniorage to fees went from 120 to 1 to 1 to 10,000. And this didn't happen overnight. This happened over 140 years in a gradual curve. Somewhere in there there's a crossover point. That crossover point is the day it's 1 to 1. Where now miners know that for the future they're going to focus more on fees, and that happens way before you get to 2141. So I'm not worried because it's not going to be a surprise. This is the same kind of question that happened with the halving. What will happen when the halving happens? Well, we've been kind of we see this coming four years in advance. Um, everyone's prepared for it. This is part of living in a deterministic currency. Is we don't have to wait until the Friday uh, spokesperson from the Federal Reserve Open Committee meeting to come out and tell us what our interest rate is. Mining doesn't stop. Will the fees be the same as Visa? If they are, we have failed badly. Because quite honestly, the fees already for many transactions, most transactions, uh, that are above like five dollars, are lower than Visa. And we're getting better at optimization. If we introduce things like Lightning Network and other layer two technologies, if we increase the block size and do all of the other optimization and scaling things, we can do Visa. We can do much more than Visa, and we can do it cheaper. So I'm, I don't think we're going to have any problem. There's the capacity issue for Bitcoin will be a problem all the time, but it will be a problem that we will manage. Uh, in a way that is not fatal, and gradually make it better and better. So failing to scale gracefully for 25 years, that's the goal.